what can be said about 2018. It was honestly the best year, not only for this channel, but for intermittent fasting. The popularity grew even larger and more and more people were adopting this lifestyle and seeing amazing results. In terms of this channel, well, to say that I'm super happy and proud of this community is an understatement. You guys were awesome. One thing I get a lot is that I motivate you guys to stick to the fasting regimen. Well, you guys motivate me to continue to provide as much information as I can. Looking back to what was an amazing year, I can't help but smile. I gave you guys a proper full day of eating video, no walk around stuff, just exactly what I ate that day. I was proud of that video and a lot of you were asking for it so I was happy to deliver. One thing that I made sure to do this year was tackle intermittent fasting misconceptions head on. So if a YouTuber claimed that IF didn't work and provided specific studies, I would evaluate the studies and if warranted, I would create a rebuttal. One of the biggest misconceptions out there is that severe caloric restriction is the same as intermittent fasting. And I could assure you that it is not. It is simply caloric restriction. The unfortunate thing about this, however, is that many studies use severe caloric restriction and put it up against normal caloric restriction and then slap on a title of intermittent fasting isn't better than caloric restriction. Even though that study isn't actually comparing those two. I made it a point when people use those studies that I rebuttal their video to balance the information as I felt that people should completely understand what was actually being presented. That was an important task for me this year. I had another transformation video, which seems to be a tradition for me, but we'll see if 2019 brings a new transformation video. Just keep in mind, muscle growth is very tedious and slow after initial growth, regardless of what protocol you choose. So drastic changes in muscle will probably not be visible for a few years. But with that being said, we'll see. My jump ropes finally went back in stock and I made my awesome video ad for the Fledge Fitness jump rope. Not to mention, you guys absolutely love the jump rope and your reception to it has been overwhelming and amazing. And I thank each and every one of you for your support. And with that said, the jump ropes are still available, only $16.50. You can click the card on the top right or the link will be in the description below. One cool thing is I criticized the abstract of a diabetes study that claimed intermittent fasting can give you diabetes. It was the complete opposite of what fasting can actually do for you. Funny thing is that even the head researcher reached out to me and I simply asked them to release the study. If you didn't know, only the abstract was released and this was seven months ago. And still, the study is not peer reviewable or available for anyone to read, which is kind of a bummer because I would love to read this study. Another major milestone for this community is of course, we hit 100,000 subscribers. It was literally one of my most proudest moments, hands down. And honestly, thank you for your support. I also started flexing my creative muscles and started my video essay series, which you guys have loved from the very first one titled, why you should try one meal a day. I was happy that the videos were well received because in this YouTube world, doing something new isn't always received positively. So I thank you. Also, something that I'm very proud of is that we landed the interview with Dr. Steven Anton. This was another proud moment. And I thank Dr. Anton for coming on my channel to share his thoughts on intermittent fasting. And of course, I will be remiss if I didn't mention the highlight of the year, my most popular video, the collaboration with Thomas DeLauer. What can I say? It was a great moment and Thomas is a great person. I knew that you guys wanted this collaboration, so we made it happen. And we spoke about our differences and similarities when it came to intermittent fasting. All in all, this was an amazing year. And I thank you for being along for the ride. I started my intermittent fasting journey as a new year resolution back in 2013 and I never looked back since. Don't feel ashamed of a new year resolution. 
those are often the catalyst for starting something new. And sometimes that's the most difficult part. Happy New Year, and let's make 2019 better than 2018. I'll see you guys on Sunday for another FAQ. Peace.